We have rounded up all of the action from the weekend's preseason matches. Bradford Bulls booked their place in the semi-finals of the Yorkshire Cup after overcoming West Yorkshire rivals Halifax in a 26-16 win. The Bulls led in the opening quarter through Ethan Ryan and Elliot Minchella tries, though Steve Tyra's effort reduced the deficit to four before the break. Bradford came on strongly in the second period, adding to their lead via a George Flanagan brace of tries and a Ross Oaks try. Halifax salvaged some pride though, with a couple of tries from Jacob Fairbank and Chester Butler, though Bradford had done enough. Halifax were the early pace setters and after five minutes registered the first major chance with Steve Tyrer being narrowly held up by Reese Evans in the left corner. Bradford managed to snuff out the early pressure and broke the deadlock through a vintage acrobatic Ethan Ryan effort after Will Sharp failed to cut out Alex Stevenson's decisive pass. Key's conversion fell short. Halifax were a man down when, minutes after coming off the bench, Ben Cavanaugh was sin bin for a late challenge on Jordan Lilly and facts were made to pay a set later, a swift pass from Keyes put Elliot Minchella over. Keyes converted for a 10-0 lead for the hosts. Both sides were down to 12 men when Lilly saw a yellow card for swinging arm as a feisty West Yorkshire derby unfolded as Odzel. Having been under the cosh for most of the first half, Halifax struck against the run of play in the final seconds. A brilliant looping pass from youngster Jordan Syme teed up Steve Tyrer, who converted his own try to leave Halifax trailing 10-6 at the break. Fax maintained their late half form early in the second and the returning Ben Cavanaugh almost made amends for his earlier ill-discipline when he charged towards the line, though he was ruled to have been held up. Bradford made them pay moments later, with George Flanagan forcing his way over under the posts before another Keys goal reaffirmed the 10-point margin. Things went from bad to worse for Fax after Ed Barber was shown sin bin for blocking Jordan Lilly's attempt to run onto his own kick. A dozen minutes after his last score, a brilliant solo effort from Flanagan saw him twist his way over the whitewash for a second try, with Lilly landing the conversion. The Bulls were in the ascendancy by now and their next try was their easiest to come by. Ross Oaks strolled over in the left corner on the overlap, capitalizing on some poor fax defending. Lilly hit the post from the kick Bradford's 20-point lead proved insurmountable. Despite the score line, Halifax remained live challengers and salvaged some pride with a couple of late score. Jacob Fairbank drove under the posts, before Tyrer again converted. The lead was further cut to just 10 points when Lilly's kick was superbly closed on by Chester Butler who raced 70 meters to the corner. This time, Tyrer missed his conversion. Ultimately, it was too little too late though for Halifax. Elsewhere in the Yorkshire Cup, Sam Wood bagged a brace to inspire Batley Bulldogs to a 36-0 win over Hunslet at Odsall. Dewsbury Rams booked their place in the semi-finals of the Yorkshire Cup with a 20-14 win against Featherstone Rovers at the Tetley Stadium. Newly promoted championship side York City Knights eased past Hunslet Club Parkside 34-4 in Dewsbury. Matty Marsh and Brad Hay scored two tries each for the Knights. In a preseason friendly, Liam Harris bagged a hat trick to help Hull FC thrash Doncaster 72 12 at the Keepmoat Stadium. Preseason results Bradford Bulls 26 16, Halifax Dosbury Rams 20 14, Featherstone Rovers, York City Knights 34 4, Hunslet Club Parkside Batley Bulldogs 36 0, Hunslet Doncaster 12 72, Hull FC.